up this practice. Okay, all right. Uh, we have a two-day today. It's the first uh, practice uh, of the day. And I pulled the team up afterwards and just told them that uh, bottom line wasn't happy the way we responded. Uh, didn't feel like our approach was, uh, was good and uh, that we're going to have to make sure that we are mentally and physically ready to practice each time. Uh, our focus today was uh, on corrections uh, from the scrimmage. Uh, cleanup, we also focused uh, on the red zone uh, as a team uh, playing together. But uh, bottom line, the message was today we've, uh, we've got to be more prepared mentally and physically to practice. Our standard is very high, and I just want to make sure our players understood that. You're saying that practice today wasn't where you wanted to be? Correct. Practice. Correct, today. today. What did the, the films tell you when you went back and reviewed the scrimmage? There was a lot of reps, a lot of plays last night. Uh, we graded the film, we watched it with them, we even carried it over today. We just felt like it was important that each one of the guys uh, understand the expectations uh, for each position that the coach has and made sure that uh, you know, the expectations were clear uh, in everything that goes, not just technique-wise, but effort-wise and everything that goes with that. What did you see on the film from the quarterbacks? I mean, what, one uh, you know what, uh, each one of them, uh, you know, I felt like handled the pressure well. Uh, we had some guys hang in the pocket and you know, all four of them show toughness, and I think that's one of the number one things that you look for in a quarterback, and they hang in the pocket when the pressure's on, and, and they all took pretty good licks. And so I think we got some good information. Now, at the same time, uh, you know, there was mistakes, uh, but what we're doing is we're specifically looking at certain mistakes by each quarterback, and we're going to try to put those guys in the same situation, not only today, but, uh, you know, in our next scrimmage. And uh, the plan will be after that next scrimmage, hopefully we can start narrowing some things down. We were hearing about the three interceptions at yesterday's scrimmage. Were those mistakes on the quarterback or those plays on the defense? Uh, you know what? Each was, was, was different. Uh, there was some pressure. Uh, there was uh, you know some, some routes on some that weren't right. So it wasn't all the quarterbacks, but at the same time, the bottom line is the quarterback is the most responsible person uh, for any kind of mishaps. You spoke about the one in the uh, red zone, particularly when you heard about Jay Collins' interception in the red zone. Just how does that further the point that you're bringing up of, of red zone efficiency when you throw an interception there in, inside? The yeah, game? yeah. You know, the great thing about scrimmages, uh, you can learn from them. You can specifically teach and coach off them about how important each one is. And uh, I think that not only each turnover, but really there's a lot of really good situations uh, that happened in the scrimmage yesterday that we can learn as a team uh, how to correct you know, what the expectation is. And it was really good from a coach's standpoint uh, yesterday, we found a lot of information about our team, not just individually, but but about our team. One yeah. specific instance yesterday where a play broke down, and you were very impressed with the way a quarterback handled it. Not really. I think the biggest thing is uh, I was impressed with their toughness, hanging in the pocket. They took some licks and they hung in there. All four of them did. What stood out to you defensively about about yesterday? Anything that kind of jumped out? Uh, yeah, they made some plays. I mean, uh, I think the defense made plays. Um, you know, when they had to. You know, individually, um, you know, it was probably hit and miss. Uh, like, like I said earlier, I mean, when you, everybody on our defense and everybody on our offense got reps. It was almost equal. And so when you do that, there's there's a lot going on. And uh, our plan is Saturday to do something similar, be a little more specific, like we talked about, with the quarterback certain situations. Uh, but hopefully after Saturday, we'll have a chance to narrow it down. Now, narrow it down, I don't know what that means yet, other than the fact that we're rotating too many guys right now. and. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. How many plays do you hope to go to Saturday? No, about the same. I want a similar situ situation scrimmage-wise to what we had uh, yesterday. Can the quarterbacks be live? Do you know yet? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm still trying to work through that. Me and Coach Lashley uh, will decide that sometime tomorrow. With the offensive line and the defensive line, well, so many live reps against each other, what does the film tell you about who won that battle? Um, you know, we're, we're learning a lot. And some of the new guys, it's very good to see how they react and you know see how much they improve. We have pretty good information on our old guys, not just going through spring, but they're also getting good reps. Uh, but we're just really trying to figure out, you know, at each position, um, you know, going forward with the with, with the season. You had said yesterday that the scrimmage would help not only for evaluation but for separation. <coughs> have you begun to see separation? In somewhat, somewhat. We address what they we're going to give them a chance to improve on what we talked about and uh, see how it carries over this next scrimmage. Was Coach Grimes back this morning? Uh, he was not back this morning. Uh, he'll be back this afternoon. And, uh, I believe that's your first question of the year, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> 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 been waiting. Yeah.
Well, I'll, I'll follow up with what did you see out of the receivers? Because Coach Lashley's mentioned he's seen a lot of inconsistency aside from yeah, Quan and you know, practice. Coach Craig is really focusing on the guys playing without the ball. In college football, the easy part is running around catching, but doing the dirty work, doing the blocking, uh, hustling on the backside of a play, that's what he's focused on. You mentioned the young guys uh, up front. The freshman defense remind them uh, how they look to you as their first year. You, you know, I think, uh, I think they are improving. Um, you know, they're getting a lot of reps. And uh, I know Coach Garner's getting a good look at them. And evaluation, I know Saturday will be big. Tony Stevens is a name that we've heard pop up from his teammates a couple times now. Has he impressed you as well? And what does he do that you think that is helping ease that transition? Yeah, yeah he, he's, we really feel like he's talented. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, see how he reacts. You know, you got to understand fall camp for a lot of the freshmen coming in, uh, there's a lot going on. It's 24-7 football, it's meetings, it's practice, it's sleep, it's eat, get up and more football. And, uh, you know, we're just really trying to figure out these young guys who can handle it mentally and who can't. But Tony's very talented. You figured out when you do a third scrimmage? Oh, it's looking ahead. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going day by day. I mean, we're just really evaluating for each scrimmage and seeing where we're at. I mean, we do have it planned, but uh, we're focused on this next one. Yes, were there any injuries from yesterday? Uh, no, a couple guys banged up, but nothing serious. Was Demetrius back this morning? Uh, he was not. Will he be back this afternoon, maybe? Uh, I don't believe so. Maybe for the scrimmage. Let's get him all in. <laughs> <laughs> Pace and tempo, Coach. <laughs> the second practice today, uh, special teams only, or is it going to be other special teams? It will be half and half. Uh, we will go half special teams, and uh, we'll, we'll do some more install as a group, some situations, uh, this, this second practice. Is it going to be like shorts? No. So full pads? Well, it, it probably shells, but shells. You know, we're, we're going to have yeah, shoulder pads for sure. What did you see out of the running backs? I think our ball security was pretty good. Um, you know, that was the thing that stood out. We, we got to make sure we protect as a group. I mean, that's that's what Coach Gordon was really focusing on today. And uh, but we feel like we have some some options. You know, a lot of a lot of guys can do different things. And of course, if you think back at our history, uh, we're at our best when we got running backs that are a little bit different that can specialize. With Demetrius gone, how did Josh Holsey kind of handle himself? I mean, it's not his first scrimmage mm -hmm. safety, but. You know, I, I think he did a solid job. I mean, he's a smart kid. He's got football instincts, and um, you know, he's a football player. All right, Coach. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Coach. <laughs>